Hey, it's Nay, and welcome back to my channel. Welcome, welcome if you are new here. So it is, as, at least over here in Jersey, it is getting hot. Now we have bouncing around days where some days are kind of like raining which i love because i have a small garden uh but then you also have other days which i love for different reasons where it's just sunny and very warm with a little bit of breeze and it's just so lovely and i just this is the time to be outside so i have for you here eight fragrances four that's uber sexy to me like like has some sex appeal to it and then four that is like flirty girly fun for going outside like dates like girls day time i finally found my group where the charlie's angels we the powerpuff girls you know and in case anybody was wondering i most definitely blossom or buttercup those are the two i bounce between personality wise anyway um so let's hop skip jump right into it i'm gonna do let's do the girly sweet ones now these can work for either day or night but i'm gonna do a separate video in which i talk about outdoor activity date nights and, and uh, girls date days and girls night out uh girls day outs like you know you go to wineries you go to a uh, brunch where you sit outside rooftop brunch like stuff like that you don't these are not the ones i would recommend for stuff like that unless you are also trying to entice the bees down so these are if you're gonna be like inside you know what i mean anyway the first one these are a mix between affordable and not so affordable let's start off strong with a fit with an affordable fragrance this is the princess of arabia i've actually seen after i got it a few people mentioning this i think when i was going to order i looked it up and there was a couple out there i love this i'm trying to remember if there's a marshmallow note i'm just gonna go off my nose there might be a marshmallow note in this but it almost is like that marshmallow note in I don't need a prince by my side to be a princess. And funny enough, they both have the term princess on it because it is fluffy sweet, but it's not too sweet. You know what I mean? Like, you know, like some of the older school princess movies you watch, the princesses are almost a little, some of them are a little, you know what I mean? Nah, this princess leans more on the side of Jasmine. I mean, Mulan's not a princess, but she's my princess. Like, Mulan. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, oh, princess. Like, the sister in Mulan who ends up with a guy who's, like, really brolic and really short. That princess, she's kind of a badass. She's definitely a badass. Um, That type of, like, vibe. Like, she's just sweet. Like, even just, like, very pretty. But also badass. Um, strong. She you know that's the kind of vibe so you're getting that oh gosh you're getting that fluffy smell but you're also getting something fruity there's something juicy fruity in here maybe like a nectarine or a peach or something and then there's something slightly zesty zingy but the, there's a fluffiness in here that's sweet and delicious along with the sweetness of the fruits i think there might even be musk in the dry down this is definitely just going to get compliments. I'm just keeping it a buck with you. If you want your partner or your girlies to be like, oh, you smell good, t t t t t this is the one to grab because it's going to be loved by most people, I believe. So that is Princess of Arabia. Next we have here, Kayali's Yum Pistachio Gelato. I just realized I have two Kayali's in this list. There are so many fragrances you could go ahead and talk about, but I was trying to branch out in terms of get just give you a multitude of options. So if you've watched a few of my videos, I don't want you to watch six videos, five videos, and I talk about the same five fragrances every single video. It's okay to pull one or two here or there, but you I have so much fragrances that a lot of them will suit 
most of the same situations if that makes sense this is just one i have to talk about this is delicious this is sweet boozy nutty uh a little something about this is like fruity sweet as well it's delicious to me this is quite sweet but also there's like a slight cleanness to this that gives like i'm just clean and then i put on a sweet boozy fragrance there's a little bubbling too in here uh I'm not sure why pistachio gelato hazelnut sweet cream whipped cream marshmallow and cotton candy are their like main notes in here but there's other notes in here this is very good and the longer this stays in my collection the longer this lasts and i feel like the juice is getting darker because before I, I feel like i couldn't see maybe i could i don't know but you see by then so i'm really liking this i i think by now people are a lot of people are hopping onto this like this is really good type of trend which is fine. I mean, I liked it either way. So that is Kayali's Yum Pistachio Gelato. Next is Kayali's newest one. Because I don't think they dropped their vacation scents yet. This is Vanilla Candy Rock Sugar. I just want to show you the dent that is already in this fragrance. Don't. Yes. Holy cow. Holy cow. So this is also very good when i first got uh i was gonna buy this i smelled this in the store and i thought it was nice but i was not blown away i actually am hearing a lot more people prefer the opening to this um as opposed to like the dry down like they're like the dry down's nice but opening is amazing the opening to me is super bubble gummy it's it's giving that there is in fact um that floor or not whatever that smells like bubble gum tuberose it's giving like there's tuberose in here they do just say bubble gum period candied pear sweet violet bubble gum white caramel rock sugar vanilla cream <laughs> this is almost as if um what is the name of the fragrance uh must noir rose by narciso and uh the pear fragrance oh my gosh Sc not scandal um oh my gosh guys i cannot believe i am spacing on the name of the fragrance but it's shaped like a body it's it's a very popular popular fragrance that is pear it's a uh, woody it's super sweet pear with like caramel sauce on it with a little crust oh my gosh what is the name of the fragrance it's it last year no the year before it was one of my favorite fragrances of all time like it made the list and it just got bumped out i believe if i remember correctly for this past year's list what is the name of the fragrance i can't waste too much time but it the dry down is actually the part i love the most because bubblegum to me this one doesn't give me a headache but i'm just not a massive fan of smelling like hubba bubba so i do get that kind of youthful almost reminds me a little bit it's like almost slightly nostalgic but then as it dries down it gets way sexier you still get a little bit of the bubble gum but it's like musky fruit like the pear is sweet there's a caramel to this there's no flaky crust to this one so it's a little bit lighter but it's so lovely and it's delicious uh so that's vanilla candy rock sugar i think that if you have a birthday for your girl um or even like your sister or something you can get her the travel size or even the full size if you got some money for her she'll love this i mean the freaking bottle is iridescent insane so that's vanilla candy rock sugar and then the last one before we get into like uber sexy is this is kind of sexy to me for sure mantera roses vanille but i'm just gonna add this into this girly you know fun vibe oh gosh there is something that is rosy, youthful, juicy, freshly picked, perfect picking time rose, okay? And then you have this creamy, delicious, sweet cream type of vibe. And that, and then there's this slight, there's something in here that has a slight, uh, not, not, this is not spice, maybe just a pinch. 
in here that doesn't make it boring you know what i'm saying it's nothing crazy like sweet jam and pink pepper is spicy to me uh, with the sweet jammy rose this is that sweet jammy rose with mold. very minimal like lemony spice and then like a creamy vanilla i think everyone knows about this girl she's definitely an og excuse me i am having allergies please some of y'all be tweaking on here anyway um that's rose's vanilla i also feel like this is honestly this could be your signature scent for springtime period but it is very sweet so rose's vanilla on to the sexy fragrances this is juliana's perfume scarlet letter this is going to be the heaviest one i'm going to offer up because it does still cool down at nighttime i want if you're outside and stuff this is i believe like a dupe for alien absolute my mooclair if i'm correct guys one two like i don't spray this insane it looks like i barely used it like can you see that very small dent that's because i in fact cannot overspray this i will choke out everyone me the guardians of the galaxy uh, thor hulk i mean wanda vision like everybody will have an attitude with me and i don't need that type of heat i i don't want to call the attention of you know what's his name and uh, and you know we don't need all of that here but this is sweet it is heavy on the jazz some jasmine note so it's a floral but it's like a heady floor like it's not quite heady but it, it's a way thicker floral if you get me like it's it's a super ripe jasmine as, as if it's like almost a fruit super ripe super thick sweet spiced this is just sexy to me this is come hither this is black widow this is wandavision when the guy was like oh the second he opens his mouth he, he can wish you and she's like with what mouth scarlet letter Forever Mood NDA. I just look at that dent. Look at the dent. Yes. <laughs> this is a brighter, fresher version of fresher than the last one I just talked about. But it's so good. It's so Oh my gosh i got something in my eye it's so good it, it's bright it's definitely has sweetness to it there's like a tobacco flower note in here that gives it the sex appeal it dries down so nice on my skin i can't even express it to you guys oh goodness just put on my eye i cannot even express it to you guys it's so freaking good and i feel like it just gets better and better i actually went back to the same store i bought them at to go buy the white bottle recently and they went and took it off took it out of that store why this is one of the best releases so far of 2024 oh lord There's something like dark juicy. There's something like that tobacco flower. This is so lovely. I feel like there's an element to this that is just mean girl almost energy. Like it gives, I'm only nice to those I like. And that's NVA. Yeah. Musk Noir Rose. I feel like I don't have to say much about her. She bloomed for like two years. This is a slight bubble gummy texture to this. This might have even opened up the door for Rock Candy Sugar by Kaoli for me. Oh God, no. It's um it's the the rose is a dark rose in here. A dark, like either a dark purple or even like a black rose. So black it'll stand out in nighttime. It's so gorgeous. And then there's something. A little fruity maybe like a blackberry then you have the musky texture in here there's something in here that's also slightly um spicy maybe some pink pepper 
bubbly, spicy type of vibe. Oh, it's so good. You get the berry, you get a little bit of the bubblegummy texture, but it's not enough to turn me off. However, if it is particularly hot at that night, like if for some reason, you know, it starts getting a little, that night just stays a little warm, I am going to spray a little farther away from my face because the bubblegum note gets slightly heady in this. It's so nice though. And I get compliments when I wear this fragrance. And so it makes me want to wear it some more. Here's the dent I have. This is in fact 100 ml, so not too much. And then the last fragrance I wanted to talk about is Alexandria's Hibiscus Call. So I did a haul of this. This one is another fragrance. And I liked them both. But I was like, mm. And then I ended up not liking the other one. And this one is good, good. This is sexy. The sexiness in this is like Musk Noir Rose is sexy. There's a juiciness to this that's a fruitiness. But then there's like a muskiness. I don't know if there's like oud in this or something. But the more it settles, the more blended it is, if that makes any sense. Like it just smells better blended. I think that's what turned me off just a pinch in the beginning. So I can almost smell that separation of it. But it's so, guys, this is so good. Oh, no. And because of the hibiscus, I think this is a do for hibiscus mahajad. I haven't actually smelled the original, but if it smells anything like this, I can understand the price point. I also do think this bottle is super pretty. Now, one thing I can say about this is that, oh, it does do a slight shift in what it smells like throughout the wear of it. And I prefer the first three or four hours of this fragrance, but it's small enough and well-shaped enough that I can just slide this, this is 30 ml, into my purse and then just reapply you know what i mean or if it's like a two-step date or two-step girls night or whatever i can just when i get back to the car before i exit the car we you know reapply a couple spritzes it's so good i've actually my husband did compliment me on this one so that makes me feel good to wear it for a particular good date night this also does work well with must noir rose as a supporting character I feel like there's something slightly off, funny enough, when this is the main character and Must Noir Rose is the side character, but when Must Noir Rose is the main character and you just do one, two spritz of this, it works really well. So try that combo. Let me know what you think of it. Anyway, thank you so much for watching this whole video. If you enjoyed this video in any way, shape, or form, please don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe. Join the fam. Mm -hmm. I feel like it's too early to give a goal because I don't want to be too ambitious, but I don't want to be like meek either because my I, I i like meeting new people having more people talk in the comment section chatter about different things whether we agree on fragrance or not as long as we do it respectfully it's perfectly fine but i think we have 13 39 right now let's say I've, i'm we're gonna come back in the end of summer i'm, I'm hoping i'll be at 1500 by then So we'll say. <laughs> anyway, thanks so much for watching this whole video, and hopefully I'll see you in my next one. It's got a snail, look good, feel good, smell good. Have a great day. Bye, Nay Nation.